As any editor will tell you, the process of telling a story involves trying different shots to make a scene coalesce. For example, you don't really know if a particular shot is going to work unless you place it into your timeline and view it in the context of the entire scene. Often this can take time and tends to slow down the editorial process. Thankfully, the brilliant engineers at Apple have come up with a new type of clip that essentially gives you the ability to place two or more clips into a single container clip for the purpose of allowing you to quickly audition and select from them from within the event library or timeline. Let's take a look. In the timeline, locate the first Texas 2 shot. During editorial, a question was raised by the producer whether another interview clip might work better. In the event library, select the interviews keyword collection and select Bob Interview 02. Let's play the clip to familiarize ourselves with it. Storytelling, I try to tell true, authentic stories. You get a Skim to the frame just before he says, I try to tell true, authentic stories. Then press I on your keyboard. Drag the clip and drop it on the first Texas 2 shot. When you see the clip turn white, release your mouse. From the options that appear, choose Replace an Ad to Audition. This option replaces the Texas 2 shot with the Bob interview using the start of the selection range as the endpoint. Play back the edit to preview. And I try to tell true, authentic stories. You get it. Now here's the cool part. If you want to go back to using the original interview, click on the spotlight badge next to the clip name. An audition window appears, allowing you to see the currently selected clip that's being auditioned. Use your left arrow key to audition the original clip. Additionally, you can click on the image thumbnail. By the way, you can also skim over the thumbnails to preview the video with sound. Click done once you've made your pick. Just for kicks, let's add another interview to our audition clip. This time, let's add one with a longer duration so you can see how this affects the other clips in the timeline. In the event library, select the Brian Interview 02 clip. Set your range in point at the head of the clip, then set the range out point when he finishes saying, get more out of it than just words in a book. This is part of our history. This is something that lets you, uh, I guess, get more out of it than just words in a book or, or watch. Drag the selection on top of the audition clip and choose Add to Audition. The difference between Add to Audition and Replace and Add to Audition is that by adding, you're not changing the currently selected pick. You're simply adding it to the audition clip container. By clicking the badge, you'll now be able to see all three clips. Use your right arrow key to select the Brian interview. Because this interview is longer than the others, the clips to the right of the audition clip are pushed later in time. Click and Done, then, then play back the edit with Brian's interview. This is, this is part of our history. This is something that lets you, uh, I guess, get more out of it than just words in a book. Fire! To save even more time, you don't need to click on the badge to pick your clips. Just use the keyboard shortcuts, Control left arrow, or control right arrow and the clips will magically swap out on the timeline. This shortcut is beyond cool. Once you've decided which shot you want to go with, right click on the clip and choose Audition, Finalize Audition, or press Option Shift Y. This command essentially flattens the audition clip, returning it to single clip status. Before we move on, make sure the Texas 2 shot is your selected pick. In the next lesson, we'll learn to control the pacing of our story using Final Cut Pro 10's new trimming tools.